Hi, my name is Dave Doucette. I'm a systems engineer here at Polycom. Uh, this video is uh, goes hand in hand with the previous video, so if you haven't watched that one yet, uh, there will be a link below here that you can click that will uh, bring you to that previous video first so you can get up to speed on what we're going to do here. Okay, in our last uh, video, we covered gateway profiles, and we also ended up with a rather long and complex dial string. Uh, today, I'm going to cover multiple gateway profiles spread across multiple RMXs, as well as simplifying the dial string so that it's just a simple uh, single digit prefix. Uh, and, that, and so here, let me just go over what I have for a, a diagram here. So over here, let's start again to the right. I have a VTC system, which is actually an HDX um, system that's connected via Ethernet that's connected to my local area network. I also have a CMA 5000 which is serving as my gatekeeper and within that gatekeeper I have some dial rules and I'm going to cover these but as you can see here uh, the dial rules are programmed as 6 equals a prefix of 1384 which we had last time set over here as you can see again still on RMXA with a prefix of 40 the gateway profile is 1384 and Prefix 7 gets you 0384. Well, that's over here as carrier B. But also, if you'll notice, you look down here at RMXB, 0384 exists down here as well. So 7 can actually go across both of these. And I'll describe that in detail a little bit later. And dial prefix 8 will route the call out to 2384, which comes down here as carrier C. So as you can, as you can see, I have carrier A carrier B, carrier B again, and carrier C. Okay, and of course just like in the last video or the previous video you'll see the ISDN services in relation to the Atrian Atlas that I have here and all of that goes into another VTC system that I have in front of me, another HDX which is um, responding to um, 4001 on the ISDN line. Okay, so that's the environment. Let's go take a look at the CMA 5000. So let me bring that guy up. All right, here he is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Admin, Dial Plans and Sites, and Dial Rules. Now in the Dial Rules, you'll see Carrier A, B, and C are already done. And I've given them a pattern data. And this is really the prefix of 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so going back back to the presentation here you can see 6, 7, and 8 uh, equate to these gateway profile prefixes again discussed in the previous video okay oops one of these days I'll get it <laughs> sorry about that okay so let's take a look at what these look like in the case of carrier A I'm going to edit that and so you can see what this dial rule looks like there's general information, you put in some uh, a name, you give it a little bit of uh, a description. I'm using this prefix, prefix to select carry A for outbound calls. Um, everything I've given just priority zero in my lab, things may different uh, be different in your environment. Uh, of course, it has to be enabled and where it's applicable. And of course, again, my lab, everything is applicable. Routing action. So. IP address pattern data. In other words, really what this is saying is when I see this digit at the beginning or as a prefix to a string of uh, characters, look for this and then apply this dial rule to that uh, prefix. So in other words, I'm going to see something that starts with 6 and then I'm going to remove one or a number of characters to remove I've selected one in other words which is exactly how many digits are here so if I see a six use this rule first thing I do is remove the six okay then what I'm gonna add in replace of the six is the one three eight four star just like in the previous videos to how I would dial uh, that uh, gateway profile okay next you see it says action route to a gateway service okay and then I go to gateway services and I have a selection available gateway services and the selected gateway services 
So in this case, I selected my MCU that was over here, which had a prefix of 40, and I moved it by selecting it and then hitting this button, and it gets over here. Okay. Now, if you'll note, oops, if you take a look at carrier B, and I look at my routing action, it says route to a list of gateway services, and then we go look at gateway services. You notice I have two. I have 40 and 50 as my gateways. And I'm able to move them up and down in the list uh, for priority. All right. And I believe what it does is it routes all the calls into, until capacity is reached on the first gateway, and then it moves to the next one, which is why you'd want to set them in priority so that you would use a particular carrier over another or a line for that carrier, rather, over another. So those are the basics of the gateway services. Now, again, you know, kind of going back here, um, take a look at that prefix. This is the most important bit. Again, just like the other one, I look for a prefix of seven. I remove one digit, not the number of one, but how many numbers or characters. So I remove that seven, and in replace of the seven, I put zero three eight four star in this case. So if we take a look at that, um, cancel and Take a look at your diagram, you see 7 equals 0, 3, 4, star. Okay, so let's make some test calls and see all of this actually working. So let me bring up my web interfaces for each of my codecs here. So this codec here on the left is actually the ISDN-based one. He's going to be the codec that's receiving the calls. Um, and this codec on the right is the... Uh, codec that will be initiating the calls using H323 or IP to reach the gateway and of course then hit a, a ISDN line reaching this codec. Alright, so looking at my prefixes one last time here, I got 6, should get me to 1384 which is RMX A, Carrier A. All right. So I dial 6, the prefix 6 and then 4001, which will get me to this system over here. So let's bring his uh, thing back up. And I'll bring up the Atlas as well. Now, this is my ADTRAN that has all the um, ISDN lines on it. So 6 should activate line 1 up here, carrier A. So again, 6, 4001. And we'll watch that light up. So I'm going to dial now. And as that's dialing, you'll watch over here. There's the first circuit. Now I'm making a 256K call, so there will be four circuit lines coming up. And it's in process. You can see it's already starting here. He's beginning to prepare to transmit. And the one receiving the calls, here he goes. Calls connected, 256K. Soon you're going to start filling in all the protocols as the call is completed. takes a moment oops and then there the call is pretty much completed all right so it's up and it says encryption is on the call is secure I see that on the screen in front of me and I can see that down here AES okay so four lines 256 K that was pretty straightforward and all I needed to dial was a much simpler number with a prefix okay so I'm gonna hang up that call and you watch these circuits die. Boom, there they go. And now I'm going to go to 7. And again, look at my presentation. 7 is 0384. Again, RMXA, carrier B. Eh. Let's bring that guy back up. Okay. So carrier B will be on line 2 right here. All right, so here we go. 7. Dial that one. All right, so 7, 4001, here we go. Watch line 2. There he goes. Four lines for 256K. Now, I don't have a lot of equipment in my lab to actually bring this to its limit, if you will, on capacity. Uh, but generally, it will fill up the first uh, 
of the series of gateways, if you have one or, uh, excuse me, two or more, then it's just going to fill up the first one and then move to the next and so on, based on capacity. All right. Okay, so the call is fully up, and that was pretty straightforward. So I'm going to hang up that call again, and we'll watch those cir circuits get torn down pretty quickly. And then the last one, 8 is 2384, and that's over here, RMXB. So I'm guaranteed it's going to go out, RMXB. And that's going to be, again, replacing the 8 with 2384 star, just like this example right here. If I can get uh, all my windows squared away. All right. And bring him back up. Okay. So this time, very simply, change the 7 to an 8. And now I expect instead of 1, 2, it's going to be on 3. So now I'm selecting the third carrier. So this gives you an indication I'm coming out a different, uh, uh, different gateway profile. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to dial that call now. And you saw it's, again, IP, each 323. So now watch line 3. Starts to light up. Okay. And by the way, you'll notice also, although it says 323 here, go through the gateway ISDN, the one on the left here is going to show uh, that he is connected using H320, which is ISDN right here. He's transmitting right now, call type H320. Should be receiving that in a moment right there where my mouse is. Or not. <laughs> it's still listed here as H320. So it is a 320 call over here. And over here you'll see that it's a 323 call. And so that's it. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, just using the uh, dial rules. And here I'll go back to my CMA server. These dial rules are really the key to it. 